Hello everyone. In understanding demand and supply, we discuss about the willingness and ability of the producers and consumers. Did we realize that there are third parties who are not directly involved in the process of buying or selling but are either benefited or affected? No, we did not take them into consideration and these are the spillover effects. So in economics we term that as externalities. So externalities are spillover effects on those who are not directly involved in the process of production or consumption of a good. Externalities can be positive or negative depending upon the type and nature of production and consumption. Let us understand externalities with the help of one or two examples. The example of a garden. One of your neighbor has a garden in front of his house. And when you walk past by the garden, how will you feel? You will feel happy about it. You will feel relaxed and refreshed. So whoever walks past the garden will feel happy, relaxed and refreshed. But are we paying anything for it? No. We don't pay for the maintenance, we only enjoy the benefit that we gain out of the garden. So this is what we call as positive externalities. Another example of loud music. It's your friend's birthday. You all plan for a birthday party. Full loud music on and cheering at 12 in the midnight. What happens to the neighborhood? They get disturbed. So this forms the process of negative externality. So before understanding externality, it is good for us if we, un if we can understand few terminologies that we will be widely using in understanding externality. First one is the private cost. Private cost is the cost incurred in the process of buying and selling for producer or consumer. In the process of production, there might be some cost involved in it. In the process of consumption, there are some co cost involved. There is a price that you pay for the good. So those comes under the category of private cost. Private benefit. The satisfaction, the utility that you derive, that you gain from the consumption of a good. For the producer, it will be the cost of production. It will be the reward that he gets, that is the price, that amount that he gets, the profit he gets of the production of a good. That is what comes under private benefit. External cost, these are the spillover effects. These are the third parties who are not involved in the process of buying and selling, but they are getting affected. They need to pay because they be in that surroundings. We will understand deeper in, the, in a better way. This comes under the category of external cost. External benefit, the example of a garden where we don't pay anything for it. We are benefiting out of it. So that comes under the category of external benefit. Your social cost. Social cost is the society's cost. When we talk about social cost, it is the private cost plus your external cost. So your private cost and external cost together forms the social cost. Your social benefit is the society's benefit. Your society's benefit is your private benefit and your external benefit. We know the concept of margin is very widely used in economics. Likewise, here also we use that. So the production and consumption does not stop with one unit. It keeps on recurring. So we have marginal private cost, marginal private benefit, marginal external cost, marginal external benefit, marginal social cost and marginal social benefit. In a free market, market equilibrium is where the demand and supply curves meet together. So let us draw on the graph. We know on the x-axis it will be the quantity, on y-axis it will be the cost or benefit. So we are in the free market, the market equilibrium we are trying to achieve where with the help of your supply and demand curve. In the absence of externality, your demand curve which deals about the utility or the benefit is your marginal private benefit and your marginal social benefit. Your supply curve which talks about the cost incurred relates to your marginal private cost plus your marginal social cost. So this is what will be in the absence of externality. Generally, the market fails to observe such externalities and does not reflect the true cost or benefit because the third parties are neither paying for the cost or benefit. So now, when externalities are included in the market, your private, it is added to your private cost and private benefit curve. So if it is on the external cost, it is added to your private cost. If it is about external benefit, it is added to your private benefit. So when the externalities are added, your demand curve and supply curve will shift.
So this results in market failure. So if it is a positive externality, your social benefit will be higher or greater than your private benefit. If it is a negative externality, your social cost will be greater or higher than your private cost. So we know this is how the market failure happens because of externality where the true cost, the real cost of the production or consumption of a good isn't reflected. So externality is one of the crucial topics in the whole of economics. The economist keeps arguing whether this concept should be validated or not. This is a crucial topic which helps and which is the reason with the major reason for government intervention. The government intervenes in the form of taxes and subsidies depending upon the type and nature of good. For negative externalities, it is obvious that government will impose tax. If it is about uh, positive externality, government will impose subsidies and help the consumers. So there is a big problem. The underlying problem in externality is defining the property rights. We don't know because we have certain free goods of nature which anybody is liable to enjoy. The negative, the presence of negative externality is one of the major thing is the pollutants. So pollutants, you cannot say that only this individual or only this community can use air. Anyone can use the noise pollution, the water pollution. So because there is the property is not defined, the property rights are not defined in the precise way, the presence of externality will prevail. In the coming topics, we will get to understand in deep about the positive externalities and negative externalities, the nature how there will be shift. Because for positive and externality, negative externality, there will be shift in demand and supply curve. We will understand it deeper in the coming videos. Have a great day today. Thank you.